Hello everybody! This video is about recovering deleted photos or videos from an Android device. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialist will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Nowadays, most Android gadgets come equipped with cameras capable of taking quite good pictures and filming videos. The capacity of smartphone internal memory or memory cards used to extend it have long exceeded the humble 16 GB. Now, a gadget with such memory size can store quite a lot of important data. In this video, we will have a look at how to recover lost or deleted photographs or videos from an Android device. There are many reasons why photos or videos can be lost from an Android device. Deliberate or accidental formatting the memory card, a virus attack, malfunctioning programs, system failures, or hurried cleaning of the memory in the struggle for more free space. By the way, we recommend watching a special video about cleaning the memory of your Android smartphone or tablet PC from junk files and unnecessary programs in a correct way. You will find the link in the description. Here is the first and the simplest way of restoring photos and videos deleted from an Android device, in case they were stored on a memory card. If they disappeared, take the memory card out of a gadget and connect it to a computer or a laptop using a card reader. In some cases, you can use the smartphone or tablet connected with a cable as a device to work with the memory card, but remember that data recovery software doesn't always see a memory card connected to the computer in such a way, and there are certain reasons why. As you can see, the memory card appeared in this PC folder. After that, download, install and launch Hetman Partition Recovery. Find the download link in the description. Click on this memory card in the left pane of the program window. Select the analysis type. If you have deleted the file recently, fast scan will be enough. If you do it after formatting or a system failure, full analysis is much better. As you can see, the program has found the FAT partition of the card and all of the files, both existing and deleted. Now let's move to the folder from where the files were lost and see that the program has found them as well. If you can't see your photos or videos here, you can find them in Content Aware Analysis folder. They will be sorted into folders by extension. To recover your files, select them and click Recovery. Specify the directory and folder where to save the files and click Recovery button. Now the files have been recovered. Recovering photos or videos from internal memory of an Android device is no easy task. It's because gadgets with Android versions earlier than 5 could be connected to the computer as a USB drive. In this case, recovering data from the device memory would be easy, just as shown before with Hetman Partition Recovery. Beginning with Android 5, devices are connected by default as a media player via MTP protocol, and this is something you can't change. Now, recovering photos or videos from internal memory of an Android device will require Android Super User Rights or Root Rights, as well as active developers' tools required to enable USB debugging. At the moment, I won't stop to tell about rooting an Android device. This is a huge topic for a special video. So, if you need to recover photos or videos from the internal memory of your smartphone or tablet PC and this device is rooted, you can use such apps as Wondershare Doctor Phone for Android, Android Data Recovery or iSky Soft Toolbox for Android. It's not advertising, in fact, there are lots of such programs. So, let's begin. Run one of the programs, they are all based on similar principles. 
Enable USB debugging on your Android device. Connect it to the computer. As you can see, the program recognizes it at once. Choose the data type to be recovered and click Next. After scanning, the program will show photos or videos which it can recover. Select the ones you need and click Recover. If you don't have the opportunity to connect the smartphone to a computer, you can also restore your files using the smartphone itself. There are plenty of apps to do it on Play Market. However, all of them need root rights to work properly. Some of them offer the chance to recover data from a device without super user rights, but the quality of their work will be much worse. As an example, let's have a look at an application called Disk Digger. After you start the program, there will be two ways of scanning the device – a basic scan without root and full scan – root required. Choose the scan type and the app will run it. You will see all files detected by the program. And you can sort them by clicking on the cogwheel symbol. View properties of any file. and recover the selected files by marking them and tapping the Recover button. Select the recovery type and save the files. As you can see, it is not easy to recover photos and videos from Android devices. That is why it's better to prevent them from being lost. It can be done with special Android apps that work like recycle bins. There are many such apps and there is little to show about them. For example, let's take Dumpster. The principle of its work is very simple. Just install it, and all the photos, videos, and other files or apps deleted from the device will be sent to the recycle bin of this application. They can always be recovered from there. Talking of safe storage for photos and videos in Android devices, we can't miss such services as Google Photos. This app will help you to set up automatic or manual synchronization of photos and videos from your smartphone or tablet PC with the cloud storage. They will always be stored there even after they are deleted from your device or memory card or even after you lose your device. You can access your pictures from the computer as well. When saving photos and videos in high quality, the storage size is not limited. If you save them in the original quality, the storage size will be limited to the size of your Google Drive to which this app is connected. Now the conclusions. Recovering photos or videos from internal memory of an Android device is no easy task. Android itself doesn't have this function, and that's why there are so many difficulties. You need to root the device and enable USB debugging, which is carefully hidden by the software developers. Data recovery programs often fail to restore everything from the device's inner memory. Things are completely different with recovering data from memory cards. For such tools as Hetman Partition Recovery, restoring data from any removable media is the primary function. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!